Okay, so against Set, you basically have to bait out his E. Whenever you're walking up for a last hit, he's going to try and hit you with that E. You basically have to like fake that you're going for the last hit. Like you you walk into his range and then walk out immediately, see if you can bait it out. Because once, once you bait out that E, it's like a 17 second cooldown at level 1, so it's pretty long. Then after right, that, I mean, you can either trade with him or just go for the last hit. He wants Ghost. He probably just wanted to match uh, your Ghost Flash since most people take that on Nasus. Yeah, you see, I don't get why he's auto attacking the minions now. Well, he's trying to like, push. He wants to create an advantage. Wait, doesn't he just allow me to stack more freely? Um, no, because what he's trying to, he could be trying to like crash into your tower at level three, and then he'll get a cheater recall, and then the wave will bounce back to him, and then he can freeze in front of his turret. Yeah. Okay. But as a Nasus, there's not really anything you can do about that. Like that's that's one of the ways you counter Nasus is just cheat or recall into freeze. And then get your jungler to gank him. Wave management's the same in every lane. You just it's slightly different, but not really. Oh, I would not walk up like that. Oh, we took so much damage oh. unnecessarily. Okay. Also, whenever he doesn't have his E or W, you can just walk up to the wave and hit it for your fleet footwork passive. Like, there's no reason not to do it. Right now, he obviously has his cooldowns back up, but if he uses his E, you want to just walk up and, like, proc your fleet so that you can get more health. Okay. You're kind of playing, like, super far back. You still want to be interacting. Like, you bait out that ability, then walk away. Now he doesn't have it. So every time you can, you can just walk up, rock your fleet footwork, and then walk away. Okay. Oh my god, please. Okay, so he doesn't have the E for 17 seconds. He can proc a fleet footwork. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> We're both so low. Once I, once yeah, I, I mean, the thing is, Yi is on the bottom side of the map, so like he can't help you, no matter what. True. You but need I to play I... safe, just in case their jungle tries to dive you. Yeah, true. Okay, I need like two more minions. Okay, once, if I hit level six now, I'll just go in. Oh, never mind. Oh, now he's gonna kill you, flash away now? That's too late. Oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure I win this fight, though. Yeah, he doesn't have ult or flash anymore, so you can just fight him. Yeah, he used his E early. Or his W early, sorry. He just has ghost. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I mean, that's fine. That gives you control of the lane, finally. Don't let him walk up for free. Like, if he walks up to a, a minion, just auto-attack him. Don't spam your E. Should I just back? Uh, this is a pretty rough spot. Okay. Yeah, just back, just back, just back, just back. Again, you can walk up for fleet. Like, you can just proc it and then walk away. Like, he doesn't have his E or W he used it to go in on you. Oh, I just, I'm just trolling. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, this yeah, guy's uh, I'll just wait for hard. you to come and then I'll just R. And then I just kill him. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, you're over chasing, you're way over chasing, you're super over chasing. You're like kind of making it too obvious by walking that far up. Oh, fair enough. Should I buy Tabbies into their team? Yes, 100%. Okay, you have the bigger minion wave. Don't don't be afraid here. That looks good. Nice. Okay, so it feels like you know when you should go in. You just don't know like, how to play lane in, like, a more proactive way. Oh, let me just... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I Like, I know my champ, I just don't know the macro of it. Clear the wave and then back. Should I uh, attack the tower? Yeah, you might as well. Only person that could be here right now is Echo. Yep, there he is. Yeah. You honestly should be fine. Yeah. Just walk away. Pop your health pot while you're walking. I'm pretty sure I can kill no, him. No, 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 no. Don't stay, don't stay. <laughs> you have no mana. I, I don't think I could kill him because he has ghost and I have ghost, but... You just do short trades. Oh, he missed. Yeah, just run him down, run him down. Keep going. Ah, oh, I would have done it. Because oh. you just ghost under tower and kill him. He doesn't have his W, so he has no way to mitigate the damage. Um. Now he has his W, though. Yeah. I was waiting for... I, I just wanted to uh, bait his ghost, but he just never popped it. Against set, you always want to... If you can bait out his W, he basically is just like a super squishy, like, non-threat. That's like the key to playing against Set. So, since he used it pretty early in the fight, I would have just kept running him down. Set's W is like an 18 to 20 second cooldown at level 1. I think you guys are gonna easily win this game. But regardless, there's a couple of things I still want to go over in the beginning of the game, because you yeah. played the early lane phase pretty bad. It feels like like once you once you understood that uh, you could just ult and kill him, then you like became more confident and you could actually do stuff. Where do I even go at this point? Oh. You go to the victory screen. <laughs> what I wanted to show you... Like, let's pretend this dummy is set, right? When you are trying to, like, walk up for a minion, he's obviously going to try and, like, walk into you and, like, press his E and try and stun you to start doing damage, right? What you need to understand is that his his range, like, around right here, like, this is where he would get, like, a max range pool. You need to be, like, kind of walking in and out of this range, like this, to see if you can bait it. Like, you need to be right on the edge of his range so that you can try and bait his skills, because his abilities are very long cooldowns. Like, let me look up on the, the wiki real quick exactly how long his cooldowns are. So he's, he's not going to have ability haste at level 1, 2, and 3, right? I know for sure his W is like a 20 second cooldown? 18 seconds, okay. His W, which is the shield, is an 18 second cooldown, and his E, the, the pull, is a 16 second cooldown. So when he uses those, you have an entire like one fourth of a minute to just try and harass him or like just walk up for CS. Once he's used this... those, then you can start walking up and like cue the, the minions. Um, if he tries to fight you, you can auto attack him in the wave. It's totally fine. Um, the moment that he uses Q though, you just back off. Yeah, that's the thing if I, what I was thinking is that uh, like even if I'm aggressive, he just out damages me. Yeah, and that's that's true if he has his abilities. But if he's on that timer, like I said, you have an entire 15 seconds where he just doesn't have abilities, right? So now you can focus on either getting the minions, like let's say I'm Nasus right here, I'm just queuing the minions. And then if he walks up, if he's right here, then he's in inside of your minions, so you just auto attack him. If he's auto-attacking you, he's going to take minion damage. He can't 
sustain from it, so you just end up doing more damage to him than he's doing to you. But my point is that this is basically the distance that you want to be standing against Set. Even if he has Q, you can just walk away. Uh, you react. You, you have to react to the model itself, like the character model, because that lets you know what his intentions are. Like, if you see him like doing this, that means he's trying to run at you, right? You would just react to this, and then you shouldn't be in range of the pool. Um, and then the other thing I was going to show you is the wave management thing. The reason why he wants to like hit the wave like this uh, he didn't do it because he was just a bad player, but a really good player is going to, like, um, try and do a cheater recall, which is basically you slow push the wave, you get control of it, so, like, right now you can't walk up because otherwise you get stunned and take a lot of damage, right? And so what I'm basically waiting for is the next wave, and on that next wave, I'll like hard shove into your tower. And, and it only works against like Nazis, but not Mundo, or like. No, Nazis. this works against every champion in the game. It just depends on if you can get control of the lane or not. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna just hard shove. Even if you're attacking me, it like won't matter. I'm just focused on hitting the wave. I just push him the way back. Oh, you just out push me. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't, can't stay there, otherwise, it? look at how much damage you're taking from the wave. Like, I oh, will actually just, just kill you back. for doing this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like, look at how much damage you took. And now here's the problem I'm gonna back, I'm gonna get an item, and I'm just gonna walk right back into lane. You can't shove faster because the wave is, like, on your side. So now, you're going to lose too many minions if you back right now. You're not healthy enough to stay. You do have four health pots, but like, once you burn those four health pots, then I can all in you. Will I ever burn them if I just play back? And also, don't have a level advantage. I mean, you have the level advantage right now, but the thing is, I'm just going to clear the wave. And the minion advantage, so won't I just win the fight? No. Because I have item advantage. Oh, I just walked into that. Yeah, fair enough. Can't you just freeze it, though? Yep. And that's exactly what you do against Nasus. Like, now this is an unwinnable state for you. Like, how do you walk up? Now, if you try and walk up, I just pull in you. You can't go for any minions at all. Because now I'm just standing in front of him, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So that's basically what a good player would do against Nasus. This is how you beat Nasus. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> okay. So your your goal as the Nasus player is to prevent that from happening. So that's why you need to walk up to the wave and hit it. Uh, that set player was very bad, so he, you know, he just didn't. But you see what I mean, right? Like, you just can't stack Q whatsoever now. Like, how do you ever win from this scenario? That's true. And I guess what I do is probably just back, get Sheen and two health pots. And right, then I but just win look, look at how many minions you'd lose if you were to back right now. Because if I, wait, let me let me just try backing and getting she. The other thing too is that since I have teleport, all I have to do is create a really like crazy trade with you. You don't have flash, so I could just like all in you. Even if it doesn't work out for me, I could just back off. And then I can teleport right back in, and now you're in the exact same spot. Thankfully, uh, players aren't as good as you around here. They, right, but really, as you get smurfs. better at the game, though, that's what you're gonna like. Start looking at players yeah. are gonna start doing that to you, and then what do you do?
That's true. Say like it's it's actually just unplayable. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is kind of what like not exactly this, but like me playing really safely is what happens most games. Because there's nothing I can really do. So you're you're trying to prevent that from happening though, which is why I want you to like walk up more. Um, okay, I think we're done here. Go ahead and exit the game. Uh, I want you to play another game because that one went pretty fast. Do you want me to play Nasus again or? Yeah, yeah, play Nasus edge? again. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, Jace is Jace. definitely one of those champions that uh, you lose early game, but as long as you don't lose hard, like you can run him down. The big thing with him is obviously if he's in range form, he could just poke you and harass you. What you want to be doing is you want to play a certain corner of the, the lane. So what you're going to do, your red side, you're going to play towards like your top bush, like the, the closest bush to your tower. And anytime you, you want to last hit something, you walk out, last hit it, and then immediately walk back into that bush. The idea is that you're trying to minimize the amount of times that Jace can poke you. If he ends up warding the bush, then we'll start playing opposite side. Like we'll start playing the, the bottom right pocket instead. Oh boy. Well, that's It's going to be one of us. those games. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it should be winnable, but actually, is it winnable? Yeah, it's winnable. The thing is, um, Jace probably just gets a, a tier off of that, so it doesn't actually impact the lane. If he gets Longsword, then it's actually really good for him, but I'm almost positive. I'm, I'm very confident he's not going to be smart enough to go Longsword second. If he does, though, we're in a little bit of trouble. Uh, yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, did yep. you know? There it is. <laughs> okay. Oops. So it's basically as if you were just playing against a normal Jace. All right, he missed his Q. I would walk up for the middle minion. The middle one. He switched to melee, which means he can't harass you. There it is. Watch, watch out! He could give you you. Yeah, that's I'm trying to walk in like a really awkward position. Yeah. Okay, back up. He's level two. Jesus. We're taking way too much damage. He started W a second. That's weird. That's that's just cringe. Um, I wouldn't have used your health pot right away. The reason why is because your Dorn shield actually gets more value the lower health you are. Um, like it heals you for more if you're lower health. Yo, auto attack. Ah, I was gonna say he's chasing into your minions. That's actually a good fight for you. I'm not going to miss this huge minion wave. Yeah, yeah, you're or... you're right on that. That is absolutely correct. Wait, does she... Oh. Okay, well, the Caitlyn redeemed herself. I don't uh, know Hecarim, He's so... on your Hecarim, but you can't really do anything about it. Yeah. Don't go. Do not go. He is an idiot if, if he thinks that you can help him. Oh, shit. Wrong thing. There's nothing you can do there. Just do not help him. Yeah. Oh, I'm just trolling. He can't poke me from there. They can't dive me, right? Uh, they might be able to, but it's like risky for them. Okay. Yeah, hit that. Hit that melee minion that's close to you, just to get the. Yeah, the fleet footwork proc. Remember, your passive is literally lifesteal. If you are getting fleet footwork, Doran shield, second win, regen, like you should be able to outsustain this matchup easy. Okay. Don't walk up. Do not, okay. My bad. Make sure you're in XP range. It's it's only when when he is standing in a position where he can't hit you that's when you want to walk up. It's like sometimes he's just sitting way too far back. This is boring. I mean that's just you're playing Nasus. <laughs> uh, do I take damage for this cannon or? Mm, it? It's risky. I I wouldn't do it. You would you would actually potentially die. If the Jace is like super good, he definitely kills you, but no. Ah. 
the hitbox. I just, I just can never. Oh my god! Oh good, he took a tower, uh, tower shot. Okay, Hacker him stop side. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, stop letting him auto you for free. I tried to pluck the fleet footwork. You're going, going, going. Now you're over chasing. Oh, well. He's going to have to flash. Yeah, he flashed. He flashed. Go back to wave. Oh, okay, so he's still here. As soon as we hit level 6, uh, you just all in him. If he's close enough to wither, if you get the wither, ghost ult flash all in. Yeah, he, he knows that he's in danger, so he's just going to play super far back. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Save your flash. Okay, go. Nice. nice. And now you hard shove the wave. And then you're just going to back after. Yep, that was perfect. All right, we definitely want... Like plated steel caps ASAP. I get refill. Balls, yep, get refill. Right? Okay, so the key to this matchup now is that anytime that you are in wither range, you want to wither, walk at him, he's going to switch to melee form, then he's going to E you away. As soon as he E's you away, you walk away. And then when your wither is back up, if you can wither him again within 20 seconds, you go back in and like all in him. Jace's melee E, the knockback, is a 20 second cooldown at level one and he never maxes it. Um, you have a 20 second window after he uses it to all in him. Sorry. Use your refill. I mean, don't that just, isn't that just bad for him because I just lifesteal off? Yep, exactly. Try not to get hit by the Q. He's going to try and EQ you when you go for... Yep. Yeah. Jesus. Taking so Please much split. damage. Stop taking so much damage. <laughs> I'm trying, bro. Ouch. Wait, I'm just trolling. Can I all in him? Uh, Not at the moment, because he can just knock you away. Oh. Okay, come on, man. Now stop walking up for it. <laughs> you you are just constantly walking into his his range. Like that's what he wants. That's the only way you lose this. Okay. Like, do I even walk up here? You walk up for the XP. Yeah. Oh man, dude. Yeah. Rough. I mean, what 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 can I do to dodge that though? Honestly. I mean, you have to. That's too well, you you have to expect it and like dodge it. I don't I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Do I walk up for this minion? Um, or cannon? No, you just eat it. Okay, I got it. You have to be standing behind your minions though. Like, yeah, okay, you missed that, or he missed that. Walk up and wither. Get him to use his E. All right. As soon as your ghost, or as soon as your uh, wither and ghost are up, you just all in him. Right there. It's good. It's all in. Yeah. Nice. He's playing it well. I can't lie. It's just. I mean, he's playing it pretty well, but not well enough. Like, he's not respecting the fact that you can't all in. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. Yi took uh, Rift Herald, which means he's topside. Yeah, oh, okay. I just thought... Um... He's on you, he's on you, he's on you. If he queues onto you, you could just flash into turret and... uh. Okay, back, 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 back. We don't need to stay. Yeah, we have sure no mana, can... there's no reason to stay. Jace is going to come back into lane with item advantage and full health. Alright, go. You don't need to wait for that much mana, it'll regen on the way back to lane. How much mana does re like? How much does it regen? I mean, every champion is different, but okay. I mean, you can see that right now it's about to be full. All right, so literally the exact same thing as before. We just want to like 
wither him, get him to use his E. Not take so much poke just for one minion. There's too many minions right now, so you, this is where you don't walk up. Oh, he switched to melee form, so... Yeah. Anytime he switches to melee form, it's like, okay, I can walk up and actually get minions. And now I would try and wither him. He's gonna E you. Yep. You walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Okay. I just wanted to get that extra Q. No, it wasn't worth it. Alright, now walk back into him and E him. Or uh, W him. If he walks forward. Yeah, you should be able to kill him here. He doesn't have E. Oh, does, but you can... Enough. Did he really put points into it? Yeah, probably. I mean, to be fair, he has a point. Because, like, it is really useful. It's just, it's something that you never max on, on Jace ever. I'm gonna have E again. This is not great. <sighs> Barely. <laughs> I mean, I probably could have queued them, to be fair. I just don't want to risk it. Alright, we're just going to shove the wave in immediately back. Obviously, we have no mana, so staying would be really bad here. And I'm pretty sure Jace has teleport back up. But yeah, you see what I mean about playing around Jace's E? That's yeah. all you have to do. These bad players, they're just straight up never going to realize that you can play around that. Alright, walk in that the bush. Goes. Walk in the bush. Walk in the bush. Don't, don't show. We want him to push forward, and then... We can, like, surprise him. We have such a big advantage right now. We're two levels ahead of him. Can I just go in? Yeah. Well, yeah, you got him. You got him. Just keep chasing. You can dive it. You can dive it. Yep. Ghost. It's just broken. Why, why not just wait? Because then we miss opportunities like this. If he had waited for 20 gold, Jace would have already pushed it into tower. Um, Jace might actually teleport back to the wave. Uh, if he nice. is here, yeah, we just die, so get out of there. Don't bother withering him, I going to say, because he has ult. Nice, oh, you got out. Fuck. Keep running. All the way back to your tower. When when Yi is ulting, don't bother wasting your wither, because it's Yi. He's just going to charge right through you anyways. I think Hecarim wins that, but Jace might get there first. Yeah, no, I, I don't think he wins. Oh, actually. Yeah, I think he wins it. Well, yeah. he would have, but... Unfortunately, he's walking into a 1v2. Okay, now we just chill. We don't actually need to all in him. We don't have a ghost or flash, so... You can try and do, like, the, the E bait. Like, he should not be walking up to you right there. If he's attacking you right there, just wither him. Stand in the bush. Don't just stand in the lane. He doesn't have vision of that bush, so he either has to EQ check it, or he's just gonna... yeah. Alright, cool. Now you have an uh, all-in opportunity again. When your wither is back up, just go for him. Yeah, he definitely is putting points into it, because Jace's uh, E cooldown is not normally that short. I'll, I'll just dive him. Yeah. Poor him. Yeah, it's just easy now. It's only going to get harder for him. The Jace Nasus matchup is basically if Jace can stop you from ever doing anything, then he just beats you the whole game. But if you get a lead on him at all, you just dunk him. He had the kill advantage at the start. Okay, that wasn't I a real lead. Plus, party. he didn't use the, the lead actually because think about it, he bought the tier. If he had bought a long sword, he could have poked you out of lane so easily. That, that was his mistake, is getting tier over long sword. Uh, I would take Krugs. You can take Krugs right now. And just go straight back to top lane. Actually, take Rift Herald. 
Their whole team's bottom right now. You can just take Rift Herald. If anyone tries to contest you, you just kill them. Are they winning? Yeah, they are. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? I, I just don't get it. Oh, uh, the Rift Herald eye box is so funny. So I would hold on to this Rift Herald for a little bit. Uh, wait for like another team fight. See if, see if your team can like get them to group as five wherever, and then you just go the opposite side. Uh, and then you could just take their whole base with that. Oh, uh, they're yeah. four mid, so yeah, you can you can probably Rift Herald top. Yeah. If Jace is here, we just kill him. Jace is mid. All right, you take their whole base. I would actually ult and just non-stop uh, hit towers. That just disappeared. Yep, and then we should be able to get inhib off of this. You got the double kill. Good to stuff. Alright, and then back. Back up, back up. Yi and Lux are just spawning. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. And you have no mana, you are in no condition to fight people. I'm pretty sure we won. Uh more keep backing, than... keep backing up. Um Lux walked into the jungle and I feel like that's probably warded. Yeah, okay. Oh, what yeah, the they definitely they want you. Get out of there. <laughs> We have too big of a shutdown to just give away for free. If they so, walk up here, I'll just go. So here's the thing. When you are really far ahead in, in solo queue, if you die, you actually like hard throw the game potentially off of it. It's like you have a 500 gold bounty. If Yi were to get that, he could snowball the game so hard. Like it would be really hard for your team to come back. So it's very important that you don't make like these dumb positioning mistakes or recall mistakes that, that could just ruin your whole game so avoid dying at all costs yeah like if your team starts a dumb fight just don't even bother with it this is mm, should be okay if you fight it as long as you don't get like one shot by lux or something okay please kill her oh my god there's no way. Okay. Yeah, just push mid. Just push mid. Go mid. You have nowhere else to be at the moment. Does that hit me? Top's gonna shove on its own. What about bot? Uh, yeah, let's go behind the Yi. There's absolutely no way that he beats you in a fight right now. You have Frozen Heart, you have Bramble, Play to Steel Caps, Divine Thunder, and your ult. You have both sums. Like, this should be free. Yeah, not even remotely close. You didn't even get there. And then just shove bottom. Your team doesn't need you to do dragon, so it's better for you to shove waves than to uh, group for an objective. If you do fight their team, I would focus the Diana first because she would be the one doing the most damage to us. Since you have no MR. There's no way. Yeah, she has no flash, so this should be easy. See, look, your team is throwing, but it doesn't matter because you're pushing towers. Yeah, that's true. Whoa. Uh, you could outplay this, but hard. I would get out of there. Oh, no, oh. that's that, my bad. Once the Jace knocked you away, you had a free opportunity to just run away. Yeah, okay. See, now that you're giving up the shutdown gold, Jace could easily <laughs> carry the game. Look, yep. he's on three items. Those three items are... All Jace needs to, to win a game. Jace is very strong right now. You gave a 1,000 gold shutdown to Jace, so he could actually 1v9 your team. Yeah, Jesus. Yep, Jace is picking up all the bounties. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> that one kill that you gave to Jace actually impacted that fight. Yi and Samira are going to be here to contest you. You kill both, though. Yeah, just kill him. You should probably ult. Samira shouldn't have shield bow because she died in the fight previously, so you could definitely kill her. Yep. 
There's no way. Ah, oh, tragic. Kid. There's no way. Uh, just back off. Yeah, we're just gonna keep stacking armor. Just pretend Diana and Lux don't exist. As long as you don't get hit by them, it doesn't matter. You're you're more likely to be hit by Yi, Samira, and Jace anyways. Did I just buy gargoyles then? No, because the the point is that we don't we don't really want to fight Diana or Lux. We just want to kill Yi, Jace, Samira. What am I supposed to do now? Just go bot and split um, or... shove mid. Just stay mid for now because dragons about to spawn. How many dragons do you guys have? Yeah, it's Infernal oh. Soul, so you do want to contest this. Jesus Christ. And Diana is dead, so the only person that could be a threat to you right now is Lux. Just dodge her binding. That's all you have to do. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, they're doing Baron. Do we I mean, just go Baron? I'll just go, go Dragon. Then. You you do Dragon by yourself, to be honest. Yeah. It's... What? <clears throat> it's so pointless for them to get, go for Baron when they have Dragon Soul to contest. Baron oh. is temporary. Soul is forever. Yep, and now you guys can just go right after the Yi and just take Baron. They're just leashing it for you. It's free. Actually free. Okay, you guys didn't get it, but it's fine. Ult right away. You need to be ulting right away. Oh. Okay. Blinked is so badly. God, Jesus. But I'm pretty sure you just... Okay, just go mid, go mid, go mid. Oh, damage. Yeah, oh. that's the one champion that can kill you. Um, Should I just go top and put pressure? Or... Yeah, I would I would just go... Well, top is shoving on its own. I'd we'll probably just go mid or bot. I would go bottom. Should I back as soon as I have dead mans? No. Um, it just depends on like the game state. He's a scary man. Mm. He played you're that gonna, You're so going to have well. to go mid, actually. They have Baron, so they're just going to... Push with Baron buff. If you guys make a catch right now, they don't have Yi or Diana. This is actually really big if you can find something. Oh my, I'm just walking into everything. That is the one champion that can do damage. Well, the one of the two champions that can actually do damage to you. Very important that you don't get hit by bindings. Rotate mid after you take this next wave. You gotta put your camera on, on them, see what's happening. You don't know what people are using. You don't know what summoner spells are available to them. Yeah, that's perfect. I have ghost. Oh. Oh, this is no trolling. Way. That is that is not legal. All right, you hard shove mid with your team. I think you guys can just send. Who has um, Baron buff in their team? Their Baron should oh. be out in like twenty seconds. I think. Check timer. Ten oh. seconds. Yeah. Mm, you guys might not be able to end actually. Get top inhib. At least getting top inhib will secure the the win for later. Let's say, just Whoa. get out of there. Whoa, okay. That's free. Back up, back up, back up. Back off, please. Just take their jungle. Take their wolves. Your team will probably get a gromp. It's gonna take... Alright, and back. Uh... Do I? No, 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 I just recall, I... just recall. Just You are going to throw the game if you die here. That, that's just a bad fight. Your Caitlyn took a bad fight. Whatever. As long as you guys don't die, that's all that matters. Did I go Randuns or Sterex? Or... Uh... I would go Sterex. Okay. Do I, uh, get, do I get just a wait for Phage? Ruby Crystal. Okay. Yeah, just Phage. Phage, Phage, Phage. Phage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, go bottom, because he is going to mindlessly push it. Plus, bottom lane is the only lane that you need to push at this point. Ideally, we want to end the game before Elder or Baron comes up, because I don't trust your team. Yeah, that's true. Just keep pushing bottom. We see everybody on the map. Remember, Diana can actually do damage to us. That is the only champion that can do damage at the moment. Back up. Please back yeah. up. Yeah, so the problem is that we took so much damage and Elder is spawning and we have no flash or ult. 
You do need to oh, stay. Hit, hit the minion. This is not good. Yep. Oh, Lux, Lux, she has no... Uh, she has no uh, binding. Oh, they already took Elder. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Please don't fight it. Please, no. Mm, I'm just trolling. Yeah. Okay, well, luckily, because we took two inhibs, they can't do anything with their elder, but... Boy, you're making this game a lot harder than it needs to be. Oh, I'm... I am... Uh, yeah, I'm just not good at this game. You guys can rush Baron when it comes up, or when you guys spawn. No, it's not. Yeah, look mid. Or actually... Dodge the binding. Oh, oh my... There's nothing I can really do. You, you need to focus on dodging binding, like that is the only way you die. It's literally the only way you die. At least she's died. Yeah, I think you guys just get Baron and in. In theory. Oh my god. In... <laughs> oh, I just... The, the longer the game goes, the worse my decision making goes. I mean, I'm giving you the decisions, you're just not taking them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That was it for one matter, auto. Because we have Corky mid. Uh, Jason Lux or Jason Yi are spawning. This actually could be really bad. I think they might throw here. Huh? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Look at the, the just back, fam, please. Do I go bot or do I just stay around mid? Uh, go bottom. We really need to just get rid of that bot tower. Okay, careful, you don't know where anyone on the map is other than Samira. Lux is coming down to you. I want you to focus all of your attention to just dodging binding. That is the only thing you have to do to win this game. I promise you the rest will not kill you that easy. But if you get binded, you just die. Shit, mm, actually not comp. Careful, okay. you don't know what's warded. Like, they could just bind you out of nowhere. Okay, Yi is top. I'm looking at that. Oh, she was binding. She missed binding. No, no, no. no. Uh, watch it. Ah. Christ. Yeah. I have yeah, to kill this. Yeah, okay. That, All right, that was in the game. Enough. Please. Yeah. In the oh. suffering. Okay. Yeah. There is a lot to improve. <laughs> uh, that last 20 minutes. Rough. Yeah, I think the, the biggest things that you need to focus on is positioning in general macro. Like, I, I told you what to do most of the time, but yeah. that, that's something that like you should be able to start learning as you go. Your positioning in lane is dreadful. It is, uh, you, you take too much damage walking up. Like you need to be, it needs to be a very snappy like decision. Like walk in, take minion, walk out. There should be no downtime in between you getting that minion. But a lot of the time you'll like walk up, auto it once or twice and then Q and then walk away. But in that time you've taken like Jace, auto, WWW, uh, QE. And it's like, well, you took 500 damage for one minion. I don't think that's yeah. worth it. Well, I guess that's how Jace is. I have to play it better, but there's also not much I can do if he just double use me as soon as I walk in front. Yeah, I mean, it, Jace is like a hard matchup for you, but that guy did not play it. Like, he played it okay, but there were so many more opportunities that we could have gotten. Yeah, and then you, you just need to focus on dodging bindings, because that's literally the only way that you die that game is getting hit by binding. Like, he's not going to do much to you. Samara's not going to do anything. Jace... Jace can do damage, but you kill him faster than he kills you. Um, what about uh, deciding what items to buy? I mean, like, I think what, what... your build was perfectly fine. Like, there was nothing wrong with that build. In gen like, w when would I buy um, Gargoyle's Stone Plate, and when would I not buy it? Because uh... personally, I thought that game I, I should have bought it, because that's a mix of AP and AD. It's when you want to do more team fighting. The thing is, we didn't do much team fighting that game. It was more split pushing because we were focused on the macro. Yeah, that's true. Um, 
having gargoyles that game does nothing different for us because we like the only reason we ever died was because we were getting caught by bindings and we shouldn't be getting caught by bindings like most yeah. of the ones that you got caught by were like she's standing right in front of you and you just aren't dodging so okay so just focus on dodging though uh the other thing too is that you had a pretty beefy like team comp overall if you have hecarim nasus like that's two big boys right they're gonna be like split on focusing either you or Hecarim. So like it, it just didn't you didn't really need to uh have a gargoyle side game. Oh, okay. Because if I was the only tank then yeah, okay. Fair enough. And the the only real threats they had to you, like I said, were Lux, Diana. Lux you focus on just dodging and Diana, I mean she'll do a lot, but your team should be able to just kill her anyways. How does Diana's ultimate work in a team fight? Does it hit every single champion in that circle? Yeah. She does oh. more damage uh, the more champions that are in the circle. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. I should also, like, if she doesn't jump on me, I should focus on dodging that as well. Mm, you can, but it, realistically, it's almost impossible to because she doesn't need to land anything. She could just press E on you and she dashes to you. Would it be worth flashing out of it? Uh, yes. If it if it means that you win a team fight off of it, yes. No, how how would I determine if it wins it or not? I mean, if your if your entire team gets caught by it, they're gonna die no matter what. So flashing there wouldn't be worth it. But if it's just you or just you and Hecarim, uh, you can flash out of it and you'll probably win the team fight off of it. If if she's doing it single target on you specifically, that's like the key. Okay. Okay. That. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Remember that fight we had right before Elder Spawn where you went bottom and you tried to fight her. Yeah. She she single ulted you. Really, I didn't want you to uh, fight that at all, but since you did, I would have flashed out of the ult like right away. And so now she wouldn't have that ult for the team fight or the elder dragon that's spawning in 10 seconds. Oh. So, yeah. You guys should just straight up win team fights off of that just by her not having it. Again, we shouldn't have been in that position to begin with, but since we were, flashing the ult and not taking as much damage would have been really good. But do I have enough time to like actually react to it because yeah it's it's, it's like a it's... entire second of wind up unless you got oh. like you know 80 year old man reactions uh <laughs> you should be fine uh but yeah do you have any other questions uh no not currently if i do i'll just ask you okay like, thank you very much no problem see you later good night